Welcome back to Camasan Food and Travel. Finally, some good news in an update. The gearbox is finally repaired. The problem was the fourth gear synchro. But it's all back together, it's repaired, and it's operational, so we can take you with us. Yeah, and on this episode, we can take you with us on our adventure to Mount Augustus. Yes, 500 yeah. kilometers east of Carnarvon, Mount Augustus, we've been told, is the world's largest monolith, being twice the size of Uluru. Yeah, there are walking track to the top, and we can take you with us, and we can show you the view from the lovebird drone. Yes, it's going to be very interesting, so make sure you follow along and we can take you with us on our adventure. <laughs> We're at the Wajari Aboriginal Rock Arts Cave. And there's my wife. Oh, here we go. There's more carvings here, babe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. This is interesting, that one, then. See? Mm. You're such a liar, it's up there. Are you going to the summit there and then you're gonna climb like this stone? We do because you're gonna be dancing with me up there. No, I can dance in here. I need my dancing partner. Boogie boogie babe. <laughs> and then you shoot the view. Okay, take two. Another boogie boogie. <laughs> okay, that's the view, guys. <laughs> go, give me some boogie boogie. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's 
looks good. <laughs> I'm good than you. Okay. Here at Barangara, or Mount Augustus, there are several walking trails, at least three of which have Aboriginal rock engravings, or rock art, that you can view. Here at Arambu, it was a settlement for Aboriginal stockmen. And we've just shown you Mundi, and there are at least one or two others. So bring you along, we'll be able to show you the Aboriginal rock engravings. Come along, guys. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at this. There's more here. There's heaps of them. Hello, my boggy boggy. Welcome to Rambo track, a walking track. Come along. I want to see this engraving. What do you think that is? We've just passed the Rambu carvings and there's a nice spring here, isn't it, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, and behind us, there's some really cool rocks. Hey, you're back. Mm. Like that. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful rock behind us. Yeah. Where are we, babe? We're in Kutka Gorge. Yeah. And that's our view. Oh. You can see the sunlight on the top of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool, hey. Especially in the afternoon. Oh, wow, it's very pretty here, guys.
Today we take you to the summit of Mount Augustus at over 1100 metres high. The local Wajari people call it Barangara. And although we were told at the information centre that this is the world's largest monolith, it is in fact a monoclung. And what you see here are layers of rock folded into an arch-like structure. There are over 300 kilometres of dirt road just to get here. So if you make the trip, be sure to bring quality tyres, a spare and plenty of water. I'm ready. Already got a bit of a view. Hello guys, we're making our way to the summit now. We're already starting to get a bit of a view. And we're already puffed. <laughs> <laughs> we? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we can't wait to show you the view. We'll show you the view from the Lovebird drone as well. And uh, we'll, we'll show you the landscape. Hey sweetie. Yes, the landscape here is very fantastic mm. and it's really relaxing to watch when you're in the mountain yeah, yeah. okay so follow along with us and you're really going to enjoy okay. standing at one of the common rocks of mount augustus if you look closely at the rock you'll be able to see why it's not in fact a monolith. What you see here is rocks embedded in other rocks like a sandstone and what has happened is that uh, the rocks have all been compressed together uh, to form this giant mountain but it was once a big riverbed that all the rocks and stones accumulated in and was compressed a long time ago and the landscape compressed all of these river rocks together to form the shape of the mountain and then it was once eroded away to reveal its beauty but this whole landscape used to be underwater years ago there were shells and evidence that this was all underwater and on the way here you can see the fossils, the, the shells that used to remain. And that's how this mountain was created. <sighs> so we're having a bit of a rest on the way up and the sun hasn't come up yet, but you can see the sun line of the mountain shadow behind us. Yeah. Oh, so tired. Hiking. I think we're about halfway there. But the view is already really nice. And my bullpen is really tired. Already. Aren't you, babies? You gonna resting? What's going on here? I'm too weak. No breakfast, no rice. You had a lot of rice last night. No, it was last night. I already just started digesting. Oh, 
my energy is back now before I was so exhausted I can't really walk there's another vein of quartz coming through here yeah so look the view guys that's, that's the background here it's very beautiful looking down that's where we're walking from there from the from the bottom there from the start yeah, we walk I think we walk like more than one hour now uh, it's so exhausted oh god hope we get a lot of view this thing <laughs> If you can imagine the forces involved in the compression of this mountain and how deep it must have occurred here and at many places throughout the mountain you can see these veins of quartz that come through which must have bit taken a lot of energy just to compress this whole mountain into this place and you can see where the quartz has come up through the cracks and left the evidence that this mountain was compressed a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. I'm recharging now. Me too. Shut up. This is your dream. Hiking really far. <sighs> this is so exhausted, guys. Oh god, I'm gonna be dead son. But I see myself is exhausted. Walking to the mountain. I've been waiting for you here inside my arms.
I'm just enjoying the view. Yeah. yeah. The view is so cinematic, you know? <laughs> Look at the eagle. Can you see the eagle? Yeah. Okay, we get some signal here, but it's very tough, you know? Yeah. And it's very nice view down. Yeah, it's so many mountain there, but I think this is the highest one. It's very high, isn't it? Yeah. I feel much higher than this mountain range here. Here we are at the base of the summit for Mount Augustus. The mountain was created by a flowing river system where deposits accumulated and were later compressed and buckled into its form. Okay. As overlaying sediments eroded, boring bora was formed in all of um, today's beauty. Yes. This mountain is over 1,600 million years old. And this is the second major mountain we've climbed before, isn't it, sweetie? Yeah, we've been in Cradle Mountain since uh, last 2000, uh, 2014. In 2014, yes. And we, we, we've been going to the top, too. Yeah. The top of Cradle Mountain, but I don't know if the view was as good as this. What do you think, sweetie? This view is really good than, than Cradle Mountain. Yeah, it's a much better view, I think. Yeah, it's more landscape and, and you can see some other mountains, small mountains mm. and flat, flat surface, you know. It's not a super high mountain, but it really <laughs> does feel like it's very high, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the beauty here in Mount Augustus, guys. And so we hope you like the view. We're almost at the top. So make sure you stick around to the end so we can show you the view from the top. Please subscribe, like and comment. That's right. Come up with us. This is Mount Augustus view, guys. And you can see the far as we take this Cosmo. That's the view from the... Right here as we walk up this bit. Yeah. Uh -huh.